You're welcome to CNBC Africa's special highlights of the three-day global maritime security conference held in Abuja, Nigeria. Many thanks to you for joining us. I am Christy Cole. Themed Managing and Securing Our Waters, the first Global Maritime Security Conference convened by Nigeria's Navy and its Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, sought to explore maritime security challenges for states on the Gulf of Guinea and its allies, as well as proper solutions. Around the world, there is concern about the issue of maritime insecurity in the Gulf of Guinea. Um, before now, the key hotspot of piracy used to be the Gulf of Aden. Then it shifted to other areas. But lately, the focus is the Gulf of Guinea. And unfortunately for us, conferences have been conveyed around the world, but not on an African soil and not in the Gulf of Guinea and not led by citizens of the Gulf of Guinea or states of the Gulf of Guinea. And so we agreed among ourselves to convene the first ever global conference on maritime security on African soil, precisely in the Gulf of Guinea, led by actors in the Gulf of Guinea. And Nigeria gladly accepted to host the first ever global conference on maritime security focusing in the Gulf of Guinea. We want to build on the existing corporations you know, that are already uh, in place. We have the zonal arrangements, for example, Nigeria belongs to the Maritime Zone E arrangement of which the chiefs of the naval staff and Coast Guard from this uh, zone, talking about Nigeria, Republic of Benin, Togo, and uh, the Gendarmerie of uh, Niger Republic. So we're all here and we're even going to have a special session where we are going to talk more as to how uh, this Zone A will begin to give more effect to what has already been uh, prescribed. One of the significant things for me, uh, if I may just drop that now, is the legal aspect of all these engagements. You know, after you have seen the criminals at sea, after you have interdicted them, or arrested them, then how do we progress? His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Bukhari, who is unavoidably absent this morning. We would have wished to be here with you, but for some very pressing state matters. That this conference will give birth to innovative solutions and offer new mechanisms and strategies that will deepen global commitment towards ensuring effective and efficient security in the Gulf of Guinea and other critical areas essential for world maritime trade. Besides directly impacting trade with an estimated market size of 470 million consumers, the Gulf of Guinea houses undersea intercontinental communication cables vital to economies across the world. For participants across security, other agencies, academia, government and private sector, priorities revolved around structuring the maritime security architecture and protecting the economies of countries involved from threats critical to global commerce and distribution of vital resources. Maritime security issues can impact on national security in various ways, for example, by threatening uh, national, vital national interests such as the ability to trade by sea. By extension, it has economic security implications. Not only is 90% of global trade conducted by sea, but whole coastal economies are dependent on activities like fishing, tourism, maritime resource extraction and so on. 
the principal focus of this conference is to expedite what we already know, the mechanisms that are in place since the Yaoundé Agreement. Uh, there needs to be no more additional complexity to the maritime security architecture uh, in West Africa. Um, I think it's just a renewed commitment here today uh, to address the underlying reasons why people take to see and commit these crimes. We are all agree now that blue economy is maybe the new horizon, the new frontier for the development of Africa. And in our region, in Eastern and Southern Africa, we are uh, trying to, to develop blue economy and the prerequisite is maritime security. Without maritime security, there is no blue economy. Water is a major concern in the world right now, especially when it has to do with piracy and robbery, and understanding the roles the navies and other players have to play. Now, when you see different navies come together to speak, on one, speak in one voice, know that the collaboration is meant to help reduce the threat and also the enrichment of other hostile forces within territorial um, areas in different countries. So this helps us to, you know, what is, what is the way forward? How do we work together? How do we partner? What kind of uh, um, strategies we can put to, together? National waters have repercussion on our economies. Um, we have to reduce the cost of doing business. We have to reduce the cost of shipping. Now, if we don't do that, it may be having inflationary trends on our economies. Even our standard of living after three days of panel sessions and presentations, recommendations were compiled and presented for deliberations among participants. The three-day conference featured deliberations on 11 thematic panels where experts led discussions and preferred solutions, options on a wide spectrum of maritime security and development issues in the region. During the conference, a number of observations were made on four major cluster of issues to an amenable regional maritime environment. These are A, the legal policy regulatory framework for maritime security, B, the institutional framework and capacities, C, the material, human, financial, technological, and other resources needed to enhance security in the Gulf of Guinea. Four, the ways and means of implementing the necessary strategies for enhanced maritime security in the region. We conclude that this is an illustration of foresight and commitment by the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, including our sister organization, NIMASA. And from the recommendations that have been shared with the participants and delegations, what we are observing is a very important commonality. Most of these recommendations are very, very relevant, and if implemented, they will be in a position to deal with the sketch of maritime insecurity in the Gulf of Guinea. What the Admiral said over there about restructuring maybe the recommendations, that we should see what is destined for the states, what Gulf of Guinea states, each state should take home as a recommendation, what the regional bodies like ICAS, ECOWAS, the CIC, or the ICC uh, should take on the AU and maybe the international community. Maybe if we restructure it like that, it will be very easy to follow at the end. It is also my expectation that in the next two years, we should be able to reconvene to assess 
uh, how much we have implemented resolutions agreed at this conference and where the gaps are so that we can address the gaps. And if there's need for further initiatives, we'll explore those options. Those, my, those are kind of expectations I have. But ultimately, the decision would be for stakeholders who are in this room. There are um, 2,500 human beings in the room from uh, over 70 countries. Uh, you have delegations from multilateral and bilateral organizations. So ultimately, they will make the decision. Let me once more commend this initiative and pledge the commitment of the armed forces of Nigeria to its outcomes. It is my hope that the post-conference activities will be similarly backed by the kind of resolve that yielded holding of this conference. Um, one of the objectives of the conference was to evaluate um, the international and regional strategies in place to address maritime insecurity, particularly within the Gulf of Guinea. We also set out to explore new initiatives to fight this scourge and build new partnerships. This was to deepen global commitment towards the fight against maritime crimes in the area and in the region, and to attract more investment opportunities for accelerated economic development. The turnout has been impressive. We have well over um, nearly 80 high-level um, representatives from 80 countries here. And for that, we are really pleased and grateful for you having attended. The discussions throughout the entire period was deep, open, and honest. They also placed emphasis on the need for greater inter international and regional cooperation because of its strategic importance to international trade. The resolutions, no doubt, are far-reaching and will go a long way to provide further mechanism to tackle maritime insecurity and to ensure safety of navigation within our waterways. So on that note, I would like to wish you all a very safe journey back home and hereby declare this conference closed. Thank you. For these administrators, experts and waterways professionals, this is about joining forces against potential and existing threats to global prosperity through the waterways. This has been the CNBC Africa's special highlight of the Global Maritime Security Conference held in Abuja, Nigeria. Many thanks to you for watching. I am Christy Cole. On behalf of the team and I, it's goodbye.